Playing games with my wife is one of my favorite things to do, but whenever I talk to anybody about couch co-op games, they always mention the same ones, like Overcooked, Mario, and Sackboy. And while we love these games, there are a ton of other fantastic games that sometimes go unnoticed. So let's talk about some hidden gems. Starting off, we have a charming top-down action RPG with a little farming simulator mixed in. Kataria Fables will have you playing in a bright and colorful world where everyone is an animal. Your goal is to improve and defend the nearby village while helping the residents with the different tasks. There are plenty of traditional action RPG elements, from combat to side quests that will take you completely off the beaten path. There is a pretty crucial crafting system to help the player gain access to equipment, spells, and accessories. However, if you prefer to go another route, you are also able to grow crops to make money for purchasing better equipment or as items to increase your health or strength. It is a cute romp that supports two players locally and is available anywhere you play games. If cats, farming, and fighting are not your thing, then perhaps you'll enjoy Fling to the Finish, a cooperative racing game where you'll play as teams of two ball-shaped animals linked together by a stretchy elastic rope. The rope allows for cooperative acrobatic feats as you fling each other around obstacles. However, it also comes with the risk of getting caught on everything you pass. Each of the chaotic levels are designed to make you use the rope in different ways, and will have you traveling through worm-infested asteroid fields, floating parks, and giant casinos. There are a variety of different game modes and fun power-ups to use when you're falling behind. So enjoy hailing plungers from the sky or summoning evil lasers to dispatch your foes. The game supports up to eight players locally and online. It is available on PC with a Nintendo Switch release anticipated sometime in the future. While you probably heard about the release of Mario Party Superstars, there was another fantastic party game released this year called My Singing Monsters Playground. This one is for those of you out there who love quick mini games and adorable animation. My Singing Monsters Playground is a fantastic party game for friends and family of any age. It is simple and easy to learn, but still incredibly fun. There are 25 different mini games, and they are all fantastically balanced with a good mix of free-for-alls, 2v2, and 1v3 styles. Whether you want to go sledding, race remote control cars, play some good old fashioned whack-a-mole, or consume your friends in a giant snowball, the game has you covered. It is available everywhere and supports up to four players locally. If you're interested in something a little more heavily focused on cooperation, then please feast your eyes on on D Corp. If you love Overcooked, but also enjoy defending the world from aliens, then look no further. We loved it so much that we even reached out to them to help sponsor this video. The game is jam-packed with colorful environments, enemies, and beautiful characters with loads of fun skins. Your goal is to collect precious material in each level while also protecting the machinery from harm. There are tons of enemies with different abilities that make them dangerous, but you have a variety of defenses to help keep them at bay. There's also plenty to keep your team occupied as you collect material, move turrets to ideal locations, keep your weapons fully loaded, and activate the different defenses at your disposal. Every level is completely its own, and you never know what to expect next. It supports up to four players locally and is available on PC. As with every other game on this list, it is linked in the description down below. The only possible description that we have for the next game is Stardew Valley meets Fantasy RPG. Doom and Destiny Worlds is a pixelated sandbox game with an engaging and often amusing story of four teenage boys who, while playing Dungeons and Dragons, were mistaken for actual heroes and sucked into another world to rescue it. There is crafting, farming, exploring, fighting, tons of humor, and so much more that we have not even touched. From the character banter to the turn-based battle where paper is a weapon, or the thrill of discovering and exploring new islands, all on your way to defeat three evil tyrants, this game is an absolute delight. It is available for Nintendo Switch and PC with support for up to four players locally. While you may have heard of this next game, you probably didn't know that it is one of the best two-player games released this year. WarioWare Get It Together is ridiculous, fast-paced, and incredibly simple. The whole game is made up of 222 micro-games that you have to solve in quick succession. There are various levels, each with their own theme, from household chores to Nintendo classics. But that's not all. The levels adapt to how many players you have, different character abilities, and even get harder the more you complete them. Despite being fairly short, it is absolutely worth your time. If you want a very wild and different experience, or a game you can complete in just a couple of hours, you can pick it up on the Nintendo Switch. It supports up to two players locally, with some additional mini games that support up to four players. Earlier this year, we titled our Merrick's Market review, This Game is Better Than Overcooked. So you can bet we really enjoyed it. The game is similar to Overcooked, however, instead of playing as chefs and preparing food, you play as medieval shopkeepers striving to serve your customers as fast as possible.
possible. There are tons of things to craft from lamps to swords, gloves, potions, and more. But many items require different workstations, such as anvils, crafting tables, cauldrons, and the furnace. If you have been hankering for another fantastic game like Overcooked, then be sure to look at Merrick's Market. To see our video where we talk about 15 other local multiplayer games released this year, click right here. You won't be disappointed. And if you want to stay updated on all things Couch Co-op, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We love you guys. Y'all are awesome.